Oh, hi. Uh, since uh, this video will probably be removed, I'll be concentrating more on this thing here. But hey, uh, give you uh, give you an idea of what I'm uh, trying to get at here. Okay. Hi. Um, I was watching a video by uh, Axum Team Apologetics uh, and uh, learned that in the Hadith, the proof that, uh, well, one of the proofs that uh, Muhammad is uh, the seal of the prophets, you know, the last prophet, is because he has a wart, a hairy wart on his back. It, uh, apparently it was growing because it started off as the size of a tit, then it became uh, the size of a dug egg, a dove egg, and then it became, uh, then it started getting, then it started getting hairy, and then it grew to the size of an apple, and that was considered the seal of the prophets on his back. But I'm confused here because you know I had a friend from Morocco. Muslim guy, and he had the exact same thing on his back, except it was about. Yeah, I thought it was about as big as a tit. No, that thing was big, and it was hairy, and it was gross. It, <laughs> it was uh, on his back too, pretty much the same area where uh, the Hadith describes it being on the Muhammad's back. You know what I mean? And um, I saw it on his back because we went swimming. And so uh, the hair got wet, and anyway, all I can say was gross. But um, it seemed to be the exact same thing Muhammad had, as described in the Sahih. That's the sound authentic hadith. But the thing that I find confusing here is where in the Bible, or the before scriptures? Well, the Bible supposedly is the before scriptures, you know, because it's the book that makes people the book. Uh, something the Quran says it confirms and tells you a Muslim to come to me for my reading it. Well, where in the Bible or any book, including the Quran, uh, is it that says if you've got a hairy growing growth on your back or a mole, hairy growing mole on your back, that means that you are the seal of the prophets. You know what I mean? Like, I know, but I want to tell you, my Moroccan friend was not the last. He was not the seal of the prophets, believe me. Uh, but where do you find that? That that is the reason why Muhammad was the seal of prophets because he had this mole on his back. You know what I mean? And for one thing, this is the thing I kind of kind of confusing here. It seems like uh, you should be deformity free to be a prophet of Allah because uh, and apparently being deformity free means a lot to Allah because uh, in the Hadith also, Sahih Hadith, uh, the Jews, the, the Banai Israel, were wondering why uh, Muhammad was always uh, clothed and not going around naked uh, when he was taking a shower or, or when he was taking a bath. And apparently it bothered Allah so much that he wanted to show that he, that uh, Musa, Maha, uh, Moses was quote the best of whom Allah created you know as far as you know penises go and uh, or because because the the, the Bani Israel thought that maybe Maha, maybe Moses had a uh, a problem with a scrotum like scrotum scrotal hernia or something like that which I guess would be horrible to Allah you know so what Allah did is he Allah had a rock run off with the Moses's clothes. And instead of Moses saying, what the hell, you know, and getting scared and thinking, what the heck's going on here, like I'm in the Twilight Zone or something like that, you know, Moses instead got angry and ran off after the rock and shouting, oh, stone my clothes, oh, stone my clothes, and started hitting the stone, you know. And since he ran off naked, the Bani Israel, the, the Jews, were able to see that Moses uh, didn't have any problems with his penis and his scrotum, you know, that he was, quote, whom, he was the best of whom Allah created, as, as far as uh, penises go, I guess, you know, 
But that apparently meant a lot to Ola. Not having his prophet uh, not deformed. Which makes me wonder why a mole, which is a deformity, would be proof that Muhammad was the prophet of Allah and the seal of the prophets. You know what I mean? So, and again, where in the Quran, where in the Quran or the Bible is having a deformity, uh, a mole on your back, proof that you are? A prophet of Allah, and especially the seal of the prophets. Because again, my friend, the Moroccan Muslim, had the exact same thing on his back, and he was no prophet, believe me. But 